Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with a Battlefield 1 video where I'm going to showcase my stats and I'm going to go more in-depth uh, explaining my playstyle and my priorities when in-game. Now I'm making this video because quite a number of you guys have been asking for it and to be honest I'm a little bit surprised over it actually because every time I play Battlefield 1 I stream it live on Twitch.tv. However, I am also very grateful for your interest and the feedback that you guys are giving me, so here is that very video. And yeah, also keep in mind that this is going to be about my infantry gameplay and not in any way about my flying. So now, even though you see me with a medic weapon here, I focus on assault. I focus on playing the objective, I focus on squad leading, but mostly I prioritize taking out tanks. Now being that stats is the topic of this video, let me first explain how focusing on tanks have a massive negative effect on your stats. That is of course if you focus on them, not if you cherry pick your moments, only killing tanks when they are easy targets. One of the things about killing tanks is that many times it's very time consuming. You need to fire, reload, fire, reload, and you're fighting against a tank that also can repair. During this process, you will of course not get any kills. But what is even more time consuming is that many times you have to go on a quite a massive flank in order to get to a position where you can actually deal enough damage to destroy it. Now some of you guys might point out that uh, you see me getting all these multi-kills when I kill tanks and I've uploaded several videos doing that. But you have to keep in mind that that is over the whole period of time that I've been playing this game and overall my stats would look a lot more impressive to, well, the people that cares about those things if I prioritized killing infantry instead of going for said tanks. No, are you serious? How unfair is life? Also keep in mind that if you play as aggressively as I do, it makes it very very hard for your medics to keep up and to revive you. Another thing that you probably see me do a lot is that I shoot at the ranges that the weapon that I use isn't designed for. This has a massive negative effect on my stats in terms of accuracy. Now as an assault player you do of course get quite a significant amount of kills with your gadgets. Now the gadgets of my choice are the anti-tank grenade, the light anti-tank grenade and the AT rocket gun. Now the reason why I don't use dynamite was probably quite clear in the clip earlier where I picked up a kit that had dynamite and it didn't go so well trying to take out that land ship. Now if you prefer to use your assault gadgets for infantry then of course dynamite is the best choice but also keep in mind you want to choose another grenade than the light anti-tank grenade that I mentioned. So now overall my most used weapon is the Hellriegel, the factory version. But I quit using that uh, about a month ago or maybe even more because I got a lot of bad reactions from uh, uh, quite a number of players in the community. I've also used the Automaticos, all three versions actually quite a bit, but they also have a bad reputation. So lately, as you see, I've been using the MP18 Trench and I'm doing just as fine with that one as with any of the other assault weapons. Now, as far as I know, the main reason why the Helldrigel have such a bad reputation is because of the aim assist that you have on console. Something that of course doesn't affect PC players such as myself. But I can assure you, we still get the salty comments. I think worth noticing also is that among my grenades, the one that I have the most kills with is the light anti-tank grenade, because I'm not really big on spamming nades on infantry. Actually, I think the nade spam versus infantry is a big problem, and the dice should nerf the splash damage of all other grenades than the light anti-tank grenade. But that's just my opinion. Oh, there's a sniper. Oh. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. Wow, too many. I got flame trooper, but see what we can do. Going on a kill streak here. I died instantly. I need ammo. I have. <clears throat> 40 and 6 after that. Oh, he killed me with a shotgun. Mati, watch out behind you, guy with the shotgun. Yep, he got me too.
All right, got him. Uh, Spawning on me. He was here. Typical example of my priorities. Notice how I will continue focusing on the tank despite the fact that I'm being shot from behind and I could have tried to engage that player instead. Tank. Let's kill it. Uh, drop ammo. Oh, behind, behind. So yeah, the guy behind me eventually caught up, killed me, but I was able to put another AT rocket on the tank before dying. So now, since a lot of you guys probably know that I'm a pilot, one of the things that I'd like to share with you is that if you reach a certain level of skill or, should I say, success as a pilot, there are always going to be a number of salty players that will assume that the only thing you can do in-game is fly. Now, obviously, these are normal mad cause bad comments, but even though that is true, it might serve a good purpose to prove them wrong anyway. This, of course, while getting the normal amount of accusations. So in this video, you will see the scoreboard quite a bit from the games that I've been playing recently, something that I decided to record just based on your feedback. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going for C. Guys, this is so close. Yeah, so close, we lost. Yeah. Saponda, hello! Is he referring to me, that guy? Yeah, some people, some people are playing with Parabellum on Yeah. Oh, we have so nice medics. They revive me so many times. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Really I haven't died so much, I don't really know. We control the oh, get wrecked! <laughs> the horsey. Yeah, this guy is reviving me again. Oh, what a hero! Yeah. Yeah, he's, he was three times on top of me, so I'm worried about Ah, oh, I got wrecked. We have taken objective apples. Ah, too many nades. Damn. Huh. Yeah, well, got some kills. Grenade. Oh, there's a lot of them coming through our house here. Yeah. Holy shit, how am I alive? How, how did I pull that off? I was at 3 HP and I killed 3 guys. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sniper is standing behind me. On the flag.
Yeah, the tanker failed from the tank. That one. They shouldn't be able to repair it anymore. I need that ammo. Oh, the tank. Yeah, yeah. that's why I, I prefer the pouches over the box. You actually get ammo from the pouches. Yeah. Oh, so many people. Ah, crazy, crazy, so crazy, many. crazy. <laughs> Dynamite, did you see that one? Boom. I'm sorry. Am I saving this flag? I need to know the places where you can capture this flag without... ...that being completely exposed. I'm doing the thing. We have taken objective Freddy. A little bit of flank. I don't have the firepower to benefit from this right now. We have lost objective dark. I did have the fire oh no. Whoa. I'm going for A. We have lost objective Edward. I'll try to take A. Did are you are you still here guys? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I'm uh, securing B and using the... Just checking if team speak was still up. Dictionary. Oh, nice. Oh, he's throwing nades. Okay, I'm using the B on there now. Yeah, All there's right. a heavy tank in their base. Oh, okay. And there's a stupid sniper in the middle of nowhere. What? Please do this. Oh, next to the AA. <coughs> yeah, they're up here. Gassing them. Kill one. Got an assist. We have taken objective Charlie. Places like this should never be part of a game. I mean, <laughs> dice. What? are they thinking i mean seriously what yeah. are they thinking when they play add places like that in a game it's, it's so stupid it's just hilarious like oh i, I see nothing Oh shit! Yeah, they are, they are inside. 